going on guys welcome back to the videos today I'm going to take you through uh, one of my workouts the first thing I do I grab me shaker bottle I grab me The nasty stuff. It's pretty gross, but you know. Fill this with a little water. One scoop. Well, that's all folks see you next week on Carter's lifting all right shrugs All right, next uh, tricep extension with the dumbbell over the head, so.
All right, got those done. Now we got dumbbell bench. All right, now we got dumbbell bench right here. I'm gonna go all three sets with the 40s. So sometimes, uh, especially with this current stuff, you gotta improvise, right? Um, I'm gonna do my last set with 40s, but I'm gonna attach the five pound dumbbells that we have with the straps. Right here, and then, there we go. Uh, next, we got dumbbell shoulder press. Um, we go forties with that as well. Now that I'm done with that, um, next we have shoulder raises, 666.
farmer carries. Uh, you just grab a dumbbell, and you just walk with it, and it works your forearms pretty good, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, next is high pull, so. Done with that. Alright, now I'm gonna do some uh, decline push ups. I gotta lay the mat down and stuff, and then after that is sit ups and then abs. So, yeah. All right, we got three by 25 on uh, sit-ups. So here we go. Done with the sit-ups portion. Next up, uh, abs. So I've got high plank first.
was a lot tougher than it should have been today, but I did have a physical therapy this morning at 11.30, which is still pretty hard, like crazy hard. Um, anyway, we're done with that workout. Uh, let's do a pump check. Okay, chest is popping. Pump it there. And the abs. Kinda there, you know. See you guys inside. Nitro tech. Oh, it's milk upsets my stomach all of a sudden. Not so much anymore, but it did for a little while. Just add a tad more because didn't get enough in the first scoop, I don't think. Advice when you're like working out and like trying to like get healthy and stuff and like lean out, whatever. Always eat. Uh, people, there's a big misconception about how people starve themselves or, you know, I mean, they'll work out a whole bunch, but they'll starve themselves. Like, you're not giving your body the nutrition it needs to, you know, perform at its, at its best. And it's just like summertime. I was waking up 5 o'clock every morning. Um, this is for, like, football workouts and stuff, pre, pre-whatever, but, uh, um, I would wake up at 5 in the morning, work out, and then I would go sleep in the parking lot at the pool, um, because I didn't have anywhere to stay, because we had just moved and stuff, I didn't know, I didn't know anybody, so I slept in my car, um, went to work, which I'm a lifeguard in the summertime, so I just sweated out all day, drank lots of water, and, um, basically what I would do, I would intermittent fast, so, my camera battery died, and I thought my other one was charging while I was working out, but the power adapter I had attached to it wasn't plugged in or anything, so I guess I'm going to finish filming this video on my phone until that battery charges. Anyway, as I was saying, I was intermittent fasting in the summer with lifeguarding and sweating it out all the time, um, drinking lots of water and stuff, and I got really lean and I was pretty strong, but I don't know, it's just like a hard, I don't know, it was, it was fun, I, I just gotta, I just really gotta emphasize, you guys gotta eat in order to see gain, you know, starving yourself all the time, that doesn't do anything, it's bad for your body, what you eat is what your body, what you want your body to look like, so, like me, chicken, rice, vegetables, um, just good foods for you, protein, protein is essential, you need lots of protein to even gain muscle, so, yeah, um, always just, I don't know, just be conscious of it, basically, you eat right, yeah, and right here, what I do, usually, because I'm trying to, like, cut out a lot of sugar in my diet, I'm cutting out a lot of the sugar, so, um, and I'm a teenager, so I always want something sweet and, like, sourish, so, I've got BCAAs, this helps with a uh, muscle recovery, so, after you're done working out, you're all tired and sore and just feeling really tired yeah just tired and basically uh right here what i do take a sip i like the power at zero no sugar there's probably sucralose in it which is a sugar like additive but i don't know i haven't seen anything harmful from it and then you take two scoops of your lean bcaa's or just BCAAs. BCAA stands for branch chain amino acid. Basically is um, an essential if you muscle recovery. It's gonna make a really ugly color, but there's that. Yep. That's all it is. And then that's like a sweet sour drink, whatever. I mix it with all my power zero, so like it tastes so good to me anyway. Um, take that, my protein shake, that's, uh, pretty much what I need after my workout, and then, uh, of course, dinner, you eat, I eat a big dinner, okay, like, I just eat lots, um, trying to get, you know, 
You just gotta you gotta keep up with what you do. Don't starve yourself. Just find healthier foods to eat. Uh, you can look it up. You can say you can say what what foods are good for me. Google's got all the answers. People will always say don't believe the internet, but that's how I've learned about everything I know. So yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna head back to my room. Uh, wait till mom and dad get home, and then I'll catch you guys around dinner time. Okay. Hey, welcome back. Um, done with dinner now. Right now, I'm gonna grab the 3D pen. I'm gonna just do a little bit. Um, anyway, like I said, I'm gonna grab the green, the 3D pen, and do it a little bit. Finish maybe this house thing. So, I'm gonna do what I said and finish off this one side of this wall right here. So, yeah.
unfinished little building thing. I have sides to do still. Like that and that. Yep. I think I'm gonna stop there though. I got the roof finished of this thing. Um, I guess I'm just making like a little hut thing. I, I still have yet to make um, outer walls and I don't know if I'm gonna make a big base plate or not. I'll just leave it like that and so I can put it up here with the rest of my stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and eject all this, this filament and then, um, So basically, um, I'm making a new airsoft loadout. Um, basically, I'm going for more of a modern soldier look and more like functionality and stuff. I'm looking at some nicer airsoft things, such as a rather large purchase. This is the Trident Mark II CRB. Uh, the key mod one. Uh, this is a $345 airsoft gun. It's uh, an AEG, which means uh, automatic electric gun, I believe. I think. I don't know. Um, yeah. Basically, the battery goes in the buttstock. Pretty self explanatory. It's got the straight trigger, all that fun stuff. Some more specs about it. Um, I'm looking at some looking at it like a five pack of uh, magazines for it um, apparently a battery and a battery charger does not come with it so I'm looking at this is a nice battery charger that I saw was recommended on a video one time um, of course you need a, an optic so I saw this one on Amazon for pretty cheap. It was a $26 one. Uh, it's just a red dot, you know. Pretty straightforward. And the battery. Um, basically, for all you guys who didn't know about batteries, um, there's like a couple different kinds. There's a neo. a nickel metal hydride. There's like. There's another kind, and then there's the lipos, which a lipo is the best kind because you can uh, run through half the battery and then recharge it without any damage to it, stuff like that. Just making sure you don't run it all the way empty. There's just a few things. Um, milliamp hours um, for airsoft guns, anyway, basically means how many like trigger pulls you can get from uh, a single battery. So this one's about 1,300, but for lipos. Um, I've heard that it's you get more trigger pulls for even the amount that the milliamp hour says. Um, 11.1 volts. That's just the voltage that basically what like it's giving like the the battery and Please stuff. Crying all the time. Oh, I hope you're not videoing. I am videoing. You are seriously. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Awkward. Can you water? Anyway, like I was saying, um, 11, like, volts is just, well, volts, I don't know, like, how much power is coming from it, um, and then with these, you need to look for, like, uh, 10C, 15C, 12C, 20C, basically, that's the amount of, I don't know how to explain it, um, how fast, like, you can discharge the battery without, like, hurting it. So basically, for an airsoft gun, uh, 
standard you want to go like 15 C but like 20 C is a little bit faster so that's this is a this is a 20 C um, this is the one I'm looking at and basically it's infinity you can get 8% off with that basically um, yeah so that's the primary primary gun I'm looking at uh, for a secondary I'm looking at this um, this is the Wii Tech M9A1 uh, the W yeah the WE M9 CQB PTP uh, this is a two-tone one this is like a silvery gray color and it's just black other than that I'm trying to decide on what color I want there's a desert color which would be really cool uh, black would be really cool and two-tone would be like in between cool and cool if that's even a thing but yeah I'm looking at that that's a gas blowback um, green gas gun yeah uh, that's basically that and looking at some more magazines for it and maybe a holster someday so we'll see um, basically a gas gas blowback means uh, each one of these magazines has a little reservoir in it kinda like a paintball tank or uh, like a water gun I guess um, you think about you fill this with gas basically and what I'm looking at is doing a propane adapter uh, version where you can run it on propane but pretty much you just have to lube the seals with uh, silicone uh, on that so you don't blow out the seals basically green gas and propane are the same thing except green gas um, doesn't have the smell and has a lubricant already built into it when you want to run like your gun and uh, propane is well propane and you can run you can run it in there you just have to use silicone like I said like silicone oil to uh, keep your parts lubed and grease like your slide and stuff which is pretty standard so I'm gonna run propane because be a lot cheaper next up we're looking at new gear um, Basically, for this, I'm looking at the Condor Gunner Plate Carrier. This, I've I've seen videos about, and, like, it's really nice and stuff is what I've heard. I'm um, looking at it from, like, evike.com. I, I think I'm going to run an OD green with the camo, like, the camo I have and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm looking at that. It's about 70 bucks. It's pretty penny for, for that, you know. So, yep. Uh, next, you gotta get. I'm gonna get some mag pouches to hold my AR mags. Um, when I want to put them, put them in there and stuff. Yeah. Um, already ordered these. These are some OD Green um, gloves. Um, they're on their way. And last, um, some pistol mag pouches for my uh, battle belt. Uh, a battle belt would have been. Uh, pretty expensive by itself so uh, I went ahead and built my own with the stuff I have right here um, basically going around it we have holster on my right hip this is just a Springer uh, airsoft gun so yeah that so we got a holster for the hip uh, this is a mag pouch I plan on putting the triple mag pouch right here so then I have all my mags right in front of me, like on my front, uh, like, I don't know, would that be lapel? I don't know, whatever. And then this is going to go on my vest on, like, the side here, this little pouch. Um, just because this slides around on the belt, I don't like it like that, so I'm going to do that. And then, basically, this magazine doesn't have to do with anything, it's just for looks kind of right now. But I'm gonna put another mag on the side here on my yeah on my like on my battle belt. I've got these for speed reloaders. I can run speed reloaders in here, and these just clip sideways. And I have two of them, so there's one here and one here. So yeah, and then always carrying an electrical tape or some sort of tape. So. Yeah. Right here's another uh, taco pouch, taco mag pouch, and 
Yeah, it's basically my battle belt for now. I mean. Okay, moving on. I'm putting my money I'm saving toward all this um, in here. Right now I have $80 saved up. And basically other than that, um, some 20 gram BBs for my pistols. 25 gram BBs. 0.25 gram BBs for my uh, rifle slash pistols. I don't know which will work better. This is the propane adapter. Uh, you screw onto like a little camp camp stove uh, propane tank and then that works as like a green gas filler with for your magazines and I'm looking at some uh, anti-fog uh, Pyramex like goggles yeah because right now I'm running like safety glasses because basically all my other goggles aren't really that great anyway that's pretty much it Other than that, I've already got most of the stuff, I mean, I can't wait. I'm asking mom maybe uh, for the pistol for Easter, for an Easter present, and um, hopefully I have a job this summer with the pool, with all this corona stuff going around, you know, because um, otherwise I won't be able to save anything, because I really want to get this stuff, but all in all, that's that. So uh, let me know down below like what you think. Um, yeah. Um, looking at buying some new airsoft stuff. Always have a hobby. Here I have my battle belt. On clips like this. Goes around just like that. So yeah, right. Right there. Um, got my pistol. Pistol goes right here. Painted it, painted this myself just because I didn't want to buy a new uh, holster or anything. Got this around the back. This is just a pouch for now. Carries BBs and whatever. This is like another pistol mag pouch. So. Basically, I'm gonna have to start making airsoft videos soon, and then right here, as of now, like my speed reloaders go in here, and I'll keep them in there so that I can uh, reload my mat, my mags, stuff. This will just be an extra AR mag. Probably put it in upside down like this, so then, so that I can pull it out and put it in the gun. Here, I have a just a mock version. So, have this other mag down here. You know, So that's going right there. And then back here, another uh, speed reloader. That one's kind of not fun to get to. I might have to move it. But yeah. Basically, that's my uh, my battle belt. It'll go below my plate carrier when I get it. And yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, today was a good day. I worked out, so that's always a good day. Um, I got to show you a little bit of what I'm like. My future plans are for some hobbies of mine. Um, yeah. Uh, soon with that 3D pen, I plan on making, like, armor. Because I have this, like, skeleton you've probably seen in other videos. I think I'm going to make, like, armor for him. be kind of cool. So, maybe. I don't know. Other than that, I'm going to, I'm looking at the Crytac. Um, 
AEG, and other things like that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, see you next time.